This color is one of the most popular colors in the bass world. We're going to show you how to tie the baby fat minnow in sexy shad coloration. Dude, that's a big brown This is the one everyone's been waiting for. But before we get started, number one, subscribe to our channel or I'm going to send Brigham after you. He's not very tough, but he's annoying, so you don't want that. Number two, when we finish this fly, at the very end of the fly, I'm going to show you what it looks like wet. And it's, it's must-see TV. So first things first, got a little Carbonio hook. I really like the hook because it's Teflon coated, barbless, and very, very strong. Take your favorite white thread and just build up a little bit of thread in front of the bead, crisscross over the top of the bead, and you'll know you're doing it right if one of these little eyeballs will stick between the bead and the eye of the hook, if I can get these out. So we're going to use like a three mil eye. That fits fairly nicely. So we're, we're spaced out just right. Okay, so the sexy shad coloration is a color that exists in the bass world. Um, they fish a lot of shad patterns, but these, these colors together are just absolutely phenomenal. So it's really easy to get too much marabou on this fly. So just be really careful when you're adding this that you're not bulking it up too much because it won't swim very well. But the colors are chartreuse, gray and like I don't even know what kind of blue we call this it's like sky blue or something or fluorescent blue but those are the colors so the first color to go on is chartreuse so I've only got about that much so I'll tie that one in first chartreuse the next color to go in is gray and then blue. You guys get the program. So we got a nice little stack of colors here. Okay, so once I have all these tied in, I'm gonna take some Calabatus flavored ice dub. Now Hairline goes and harvests Calabatus mayflies and squishes them up into a paste and that's what this is marinated with. It's quite delicious. But anyway, I like to cut the corner off the bag and just pull a little bit of, little bit of it out. So the first step is I'm going to dub some of this Calabatus ice dub to go over the top of our marabou. And then I'm going to take a clump of the calabatus, about like that. Maybe print it out a little bit. This stuff's pretty crinkly. And I'm just going to put that right on top of the, of the hook, do a few loose wraps, and then just seat that right behind the bead um, and tie that in place. Now on this one, I'm going to take a little Velcro brush tool and pick that out. Now these little calabatus fibers, if, you ever see, if you've ever seen a little tiny minnow, they're almost transparent and their little blood vessels look just like the little flash that's in ice stub. So pretty cool stuff. All right, so the head's going to be two-toned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread and advance it all the way to the eye of the hook. And I'm going to start out with holographic gray Bruiser Blend Junior. And for this, I'm just going to take a, a fairly light clump of it and I'm going to preen it back and forth with my fingers until it kind of all lines up. So I'm going to get a tiny bit more, but it's critical not to use too much. If you use too much bruiser blend on these baby fat minnows, they just won't swim right. Um, they'll foul a little bit more. Um, so just keep them nice and sparse. So I'm going to tie that in so most of the dubbing is facing forward. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom with white. All right. 
Okay, so once that's in there, I'm going to take the top and the bottom and kind of fan those out. So you, it should look like that. And the reason I do that is so when I fold it over, it will cover up the sides of the head as well. So I'll take the top section first and I'll just make one wrap like that. And then for the next wrap, I'm just going to do the bottom section. Just a few turns of thread, advance that forward to the eye, and now we're just going to whip finish that. Okay, so at this point I'm going to expect, inspect the head. That one's pretty covered up over there. On this side I can still see the bead. So I'm just going to gather those fibers and just kind of wiggle those back and forth until you know, when I preen it out it covers up both sides of the head. So before I add the eyes I'm just going to take my little comb and I'm going to comb that all out. So it looks nice and pretty. Alright, now to get rid of any little stragglers who have decided to stay back, I'm just going to pull all the fibers back and hit it with a lighter really fast. And that will singe those out of the way so that when we add our, our resin onto this, it's not going to stick to anything. Alright, so before I tie the eyes in, I'm going to make a, a flat surface to stick the eyes to. I used to um, just you know put the eyes on put a little bit of resin in there and let it sit but I found it easier to do a super glue so I'll use this gel uh, super glue just the cheap Loctite stuff but first things first I'm going to come in here and mash that head down flat so that it's flat on both sides and then the amount of glue that I'm going to use is about that little tiny tiny dollop. So I've got my my glue on there. You can see the gel just kind of sticks out just stays right where you put it. That's why I like it. Three mil eyes and big fat fingers are kind of tough. This might be the hardest part of the fly. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that and lightly slide it over. If I kind of use the eye of the hook as a as a gauge to, to put that where I need it. It works. Let's we'll see if I can get that other one on there without screwing anything up too bad. Alright, so those eyes are good. I'm going to give them a light squeeze. If you squeeze them too hard, they can slip out of place and then you get glue on your fingers and it's really, really bad. All right, so now we're just going to add some resin. This is Solar Res Medium. Um, I used to use, you know, a thick and then a thin to, keep, to prevent tack. So if I just use this this Solar Res, it does it all in one shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pretty healthy dollop of resin all the way around the head, just like that. And then I'm going to rotate this while I come in here with my um, my bodkin and I'm just going to lightly push that resin into the dubbing that's behind the eye and that kind of bonds it all together in one one spot. I'm actually going to add a little tiny bit more resin to that one. And don't, don't over resin the heads. You just barely want to encapsulate that eye. So once I, I have that set, I'm going to take the, the old fancy plasma light. I'm going to hit it as I rotate it, and then I'll just stop it on one side. I don't know, four, five, six, nine, ten seconds for all you engineering types. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Right? Brigham shaking his head at me as well he should okay so this one's almost done I like to give these a little bit of a paint job so before we do that I'll give it another brush out to make sure that all the fibers are sitting right where we want them to so I'm just gonna take a dark color and go down the back this is like a dark brown 
So this is a chart pack marker. So I put a little bit in there and then I, I preen it backward. And then I'll take some black and I'll go just make a little stripe right down the back. Got to make sound effects or it won't work. All right, and then I'm just going to lighten up the belly a little bit. Um, or I mean darken it up. It's already white. With just a little bit of yellow. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a minnowy look. And then I like to draw little gills on it. So I'm going to take just a real fine red Sharpie and just really faintly draw in some gills there like that. So finally it is a shad pattern. They have a black dot so I'm just going to rough in a little black dot just like that. All right now for the magic. We're going to get it wet. All right, so there you have it. That's what it looks like in the water. There's just a lot of depth to that fly, a lot of color. And that's it. That's the Sexy Shad Baby Fat Minnow, which is also available through Foley Mill.